Hello everyone, it is Brian here of the amazing and fabulous and astounding This is what Brian thinks adventures YouTube enthusiasts speaking to each and every one of you. I am here to provide a live mid-February 2024 update to talk about the positive things what's been going on during this month of February and also involving my fifth month of my second year, second season in AS1 Special Olympics Bowling, I'll also be talking about as well. And also, it's going to be premiering this Valentine's Day this week, so I hope each and every one of you will stay tuned for this live mid-February 2024 update that will also be on the premiere, special premiere in honor of this Valentine's Day coming up. So I hope each as well as everyone will stay tuned. So here we go, everyone. I am here to tell you the positive, amazing news about my amazing accomplishment I had achieved in my um, fifth month of my second year, second season in AS1 Special Olympics Bowling that I had recently achieved over the first two weeks of this February. So let's get started. Last Sunday, on the first week of this February, I scored 185 points, as well as 97 points to 282 points. And very recently, I scored 116 points, 145 points to a total of 261 points during the first two weeks of February on my fifth month of my second year, second season in AS1 Special Olympics Bowling at Bonnie Dune Bowling Lanes very recently. And most importantly, our coaches, Tracy, Betty, Rolly, as well as coach, our coaches in Special Olympics Bowling and AS1 are very impressed how well Evan, Callan, Blake and I are performing in Special Olympics Bowling. And most of all, I have been shifting back and forth with my bowling practices with um, five pin and 10 pin bowling in between my work schedule at Loblaw City Market and Ice District, as well as um, my Special Olympics bowling schedule as well. And also we'll talk about the amazing process I have been achieving so far. And it does involve the Special Olympics Bowlathon I will be discussing as well. So let's get started. For those of you who would like to know, I also have been given a form about the Special Olympics Bowlathon for um, the Special Olympics Bowling Tournament. I will be participating on the second weekend of Saturday, April 13th in two months, eight weeks this spring, come this April as well. I'm very excited to do that again this year. Last year, I did very well and this year, I'm starting to get that on schedule again. So I'm super thrilled about this ladies and gentlemen and for each and every one of you, you may as well know, last Sunday, when I scored 185 points on the first game of bowling, at the beginning of my fifth month of my second year, second season in Special Olympics bowling, I got three strikes involving a turkey. And they made a huge, epic finish. I made an incredible display and the coaches were very impressed how well I performed. In fact, very recently, early this past Sunday, on the second week of Sunday, February 11th, a few days ago, I scored 116 points as well as 145 points and made a tremendous comeback to 261 points. So still well above my average. In fact, I'm very excited to say, hoping this year I get an amazing high mark, high score on my medal at the end of my second year, second season in AS1 five pin Special Olympics bowling at Bonnie Dune Bowling Lanes at the end of March 31st of next month. So stay tuned for that as well, everyone. In fact, I'm very excited to inform each and every one of you is that I am also in the process of looking into photography courses I'm interested in taking at school in McEwen University this spring, either between the middle of this March as well as courses between this spring of this April and uh, May before the summer months of June, July, and August of this summer coming up as well. So there's a lot in stone, but I am in the process to look into that at the moment as well. And most of all, I very recently would like to tell you, I made an epic YouTube video of the amazing ETS Bus 2019-2020 New Flyer Excelsior 
60 foot low floor articulated bus 4964 on the amazing 500X Metals Express. And also, um, last Thursday, I made an epic YouTube vlog of the amazing ETS bus 2019-2020 new floor Excelsior 60 foot low floor articulated bus at 4966 on the amazing 500X Downtown Express. In fact, I am so glad ETS Edmonton Transit Service has put back articulated buses for 8 University and 8 Abbotsfield, including some for 9 Southgate, 9 Eau Claire's, 110X Eau Claire's Express, 110X Downtown Express, 900X, and also now like the 73 AMB Millwoods is no longer in operation anymore since the ETS Valley Line LRT is on schedule regularly every day, seven days a week. They have now put 500X metals and I can still use 500X metals to get to Bonnie Dew, as well as to the Metals Transit Center of Tamarack and also the Valley Line LRT halfway within the Strathern area too. But most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, I have been doing tremendously well in between my work at my job at Loblaw City Market in Ice District and also focusing very hard on my bowling practices because for those of you who would like to hear, we are going to be participating in the Special Olympics Bowling Tournament Fundraiser Bowlathon at Bonnie Doon Bowling Lanes again this spring of this year as well. And in fact, um, sometime before or after Family Day long weekend, I'm going to be getting everybody, including all of the teachers, all of the educational assistant teachers, all of the principals, assistant principals, aside from the office administrators of my old school of LNY parents to sign the Special Olympics Bowlathon form as well. And also going to email too with um, some of the pictures from my team of Evan, Kellen, Blake, and I, and do a video of the presentation and tell them um, why we're why are we are participating in the Special Olympics Bowling Tournament fundraiser, and also give them a call on the phone as well, either before or after Family Day long weekend, or before or after teachers convention, before spring break, so we can use that window at this time. But the main thing is too is that. I have been getting everything back on track so far since the start of this year, at the start of January, February of this year, not too long ago. And most importantly, I am also very pleased to announce everybody. I am hoping to go attend Soundwave in honor of my 31st birthday this spring, this May of this year. It was a lot of fun when I attended for the Alan Walker Soundwave at West Edmonton Mall World Water Park on the May long weekend of last year. It was a whole lot of fun, and I always love coming as VIP for Soundwave, as always. Since I love meeting my friends from out other provinces, I always see them who I know, and people who get to know me, and people who know me. I always have high respect for the Soundwave promoters, the Boodang promoters, Next Level, Blueprint, Night Shift Entertainment, including the um, West Edmonton Mall security people there as well. But aside from all this, everyone, I am also very pleased to announce is that I have been taking my YouTube channel above and beyond since before as well as after the start of this year, 2024, and also have some amazing YouTube videos on Premiere coming up this spring, and also some YouTube videos of the amazing ETS buses, the Valley Line LRT, in honor of my 31st birthday coming up Sunday, May 12th, in honor of my birthday coming up so I hope each as well as every one of you will stay tuned for that as well. Now, I just would like to tell you everyone, I have been watching some amazing YouTube videos of one of the new TTC Toronto Transit Commission's New Flyer Excelsior Electric 60 foot low floor articulator buses that just came on YouTube as well as some of the YouTube enthusiasts uh, as well. And I hope this year, um, as well as next year, I get a chance to ride one of the new buses on the shuttle bus replacement streetcar routes at 505 Dundas, as well as the 501 Queen for Eaton Center of Downtown Toronto in the Young Dundas Square Financial District when I take the subway from Union Station to St. George Station. The next time when I take my round subway trip to visit Ossington Station and Dufferin Station on my trip to Hamilton, my old place in Ontario, and also 
make my YouTube videos of my amazing HSR bus trips on our familiar bus routes of our HSR buses up and down the mountain, including uh, Waterdale as well, including our GO bus and GO train on our Lakeshore West Line, on our GO transit system in the GTHA th this year as well as next year, including the year after as well, since I'm always watching out for myself and other people, always very cautious what I do, and always constantly keeping in touch with my friends and family and our mutual friends as well to let them know where I'm going to be and it still makes a responsible, incredible, miraculous, huge difference. And aside from all this, um, I was just telling my friends about, about the Special Olympics Volathon and I'm going to try to get everybody signed up too. So there's lots of time before the spring in April. So I'm definitely going to use that open window and possibility as well. And most importantly, um, you may as well know, I have been um, working some extra days at my work recently and also balancing my bowling practice schedule and also going to get my post-secondary education college school schedule and looking in classes in Nate, Northwest, College, McEwen University for spring courses this spring between um, later on this March as well as April and May during the spring semester before or after Easter weekend as well and also um, courses I'm interested in taking before the summer months of this June, July and August of this summer and as well as um, looking at classes I'm interested in taking for school and in college at Dana McEwen and Northwest College for next year, 2024-2025 semester after summer holidays and next fall as well. So I'll get to that detail uh, later on before the summer as well as after the summer as well. So, But you may as well know everyone, Valentine's Day is also coming up as well and I will definitely say happy Valentine's Day to each as well as every one of you on a separate YouTube video as well, so I hope everyone will stay tuned for that as well. And you may as well know, my um, my mom and my stepdad have been very impressed with my hard work and my at my job at Loblaws and also with my bowling practices shifting with 5 pin and 10 pin in between. And most importantly, I am definitely very excited to tell you everyone, I am going to be putting in some extra bowling practice sometime over this family day long weekend. Aside from all this, on family day Monday, February 19th of next week, my friends um, Evan, Blake and I, we're going to be seeing the Edmonton Oil Kings at Rogers Place and Ice District come family day Monday afternoon at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So this is going to be very exciting. I have never got a chance to see the Edmonton Oil Kings before. But I really can't wait to see what Edmonton Oil Kings will look like when Family Day Monday comes during this Family Day long weekend. And I look forward to providing a live end of February 2024 update that I'll also make a video of and that will also be on a separate premiere on Leap Day, Thursday, February 29th in a couple of weeks time, two weeks after Valentine's Day is over as well. So I hope as each as well as every one of you will stay tuned for that as well. But the main thing I would like to say, everyone, I was just talking to my um, one of our coaches, uh, Coach Tracy, and told her that I am planning to sign up for both um, AS1 Special Olympics 5-pin bowling at Bonnie Doon Bowling Lanes, as well as 10-pin bowling at Gateway Entertainment Center, Gateway Bowling Lanes for my third year, third season in Special Olympics bowling for next fall after summer holidays of this summer of this year over the next year, 2024-2025 Special Olympics bowling season after summer holidays at the end of this summer of next fall come next year as well. So I hope to provide more details for that too when the time comes as well. And aside from all this everyone, I still have my amazing Presto Smart Fair card that I still use for our bus routes for our HSR buses in Hamilton as well as Waterdown, including our Go Bus and Go train and it's also designed for Burlington Transit, Oakville Transit, My Way, and our subway and streetcars, our subway stations between Blue or Young, Wellesley College, Dundas Station, Queen Station, King Station, and also between Union Station and St. George Station, with Union Station, 
St. Andrew, Osgood, St. Patrick Station, Queens Park Station, and Museum Station along our Line 1 Young University Spadina Line and our between our Bloor Danforth line and Bloor Young Station I'm very familiar with, including Bay Station, our transfer station, so St. George Station and Spadina Station I'm very familiar with, and I'm used to taking the subway to and from on my visits in uh, Toronto during my visits in Hamilton as well during the day, and still talk about the same rules as my Auntie Paula, my mom has told me, always keeping my back against the wall, always staying behind the yellow line, and always staying in the middle of the platform at all times, and constantly keep in touch, never change. So these are the rules I always follow and obey at all times for safety and for my safety as well. But the positive thing too, I am so excited to tell you everyone, Evan, Blake, and I, we made a tremendous finish in our second game during the during this past Sunday of Special Olympics bowling as well. And we're very excited to complete our fifth month of Special Olympics bowling as one Special Olympics five pin bowling on the last Sunday of Sunday, February 25th after family day long weekend. Then over the next five weeks, all next month of this March, of this spring, between Sunday, March 3rd, March 10th, March 17th, March 24th, March 31st, we continue participating in my second year, second season of AS1 Special Olympics bowling all of March of next month. And also this spring, uh, Saturday, April 13th, this April in, in two months, less than eight weeks from now, we will be participating in the Special Olympics Bowling Tournament fundraiser both on again this year as well since I did very well at the end of last April and I'm really looking forward to doing that again this April of this year as well. So, and I will definitely tell you once I get the Special Olympics Bowlathon pledges, so that will be on a separate live YouTube video update for the live March 2024 update. After I do the live end of February 2024 update, that'll be on a separate live update, a premiere leap day, Thursday, February 29th. And also live March 2024 update will premiere Friday, March 1st of next month as well. So I will provide the amazing details then sometime after family day long weekend. And until then, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. February 14th, 2024. Be sure to hear me say happy Valentine's Day February 14th, the, the day Valentine's Day draws near. I look forward to talking to you all soon. Have a great day. Thank you for hearing me talking about live mid-February 2024 update. I will see you on the next YouTube video of the fabulous, amazing, this is what Brian thinks adventures. You take care. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone, and have a safe family day long weekend. I'll see you soon.